guys, Becky from Earthkind here. You would think working for a company that makes fresh cab rodent repellent, I would never have a mouse problem. And you'd probably be right most of the time, but my husband and I just bought a new camper. And uh, it came from a farm. A guy on a farm had it. He had it all cleaned out for us when we went to look at it. And uh, dryer sheets everywhere. So we brought it home and the next day I opened up the door and wouldn't you know it, mouse droppings all over the dryer sheets and in the cabinets. So I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of mice. If you're just protecting your area from mice, you're not going to need to use as many. Typically uh, about one pouch every 10 feet in a camper. But since I have a problem currently, I really want to get rid of them. So I'm going to use a few more in here than typically. I'll put them underneath the sink, anywhere I'm seeing droppings, in the bathroom, um, and also in the storage compartments below. I'm going to really show these mice that I don't appreciate them being in my camper. Inside a cabinet will protect that area. Coming up into the bathroom area, I'm just going to put one in here. There's pipes and holes, so you definitely want to protect those areas as well. I don't see any droppings up here. But this is where I'm going to be sleeping. So I'm just going to make sure that there's no droppings up there. This camper has one of those really nice big compartments that goes all the way through. And I see a lot of dryer sheets under here. And you know, I, I see some droppings too. So I'm actually going to toss two in here because it's such a big space. I'll put one right up here and I'm going to throw one all the way back to the back. There's also a lot of pipes and uh, heating ducts that run through that space, so good areas for them to travel. I have one left here, and so I'm just going to throw it in here. I don't see any droppings in here. That's great. This is where, where the propane is, and I'm still just going to set a pouch right there, just to make sure. That's it. We'll come back in a couple days to check on it, make sure we give the mice time to get out of here, and then I'll show you the cleanup techniques. Hey guys! So we put the fresh cap down, got rid of the mice that we had living in the camper, and now it's time to clean up after them. They left quite a mess for us. So what I've done is practice the CDC guidelines for cleaning up after rodents. I'll be wearing a mask, have gloves on, and I've already sprayed down everything with a water bleach mixture. So I even left the fresh cap pouches in place. I didn't want anything to be disturbed. So now I will show you how to clean them up. So if you want to take a peek over here, you will see everything's all wet with the bleach mixture. I've let it sit for 10 minutes. So now it's time to show you how to wipe it all up. All right, so now I'm going to put on my mask and we're going to get to work. Also, I suggest wearing kind of grubby clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. Once you get them cleaned up with this, then you'll want to put this into a garbage bag and throw the garbage bag out right away into a container that will seal up. When I'm all done, I will have a nice clean camper and then I'm going to put some fresh pouches of fresh cap down since I've sprayed bleach all over these ones. Okay, so you watched uh, me discover all the mice in here, got rid of them all with fresh cab, placed the pouches all throughout the camper to get rid of them. Next, I showed you how to properly clean up after uh, rodents, depending on uh, the CDC's guidelines. And now, uh, we are coming back to show that 
you know, we put out the fresh cab, cleaned the whole camper up, and now we'll do the check to see if the mice are still gone. We still have fresh cab out, so let's let's check it out. So you remember there was mouse droppings all along back there on the counter, um, around the sink area, everywhere. So we cleaned all that up, put some fresh cab out, as well as there was a lot of droppings on the table itself. Uh, so that was pretty gross since we'll be eating there. Um, now you can see there's no droppings on the table and it looks good. It's ready to get totally cleaned out and de-winterized and ready to have some fun camping in here this um, summer. Thanks guys. I hope you learned a lot about how to get rid of mice in your camper and uh, how to properly clean up after them.